Julia was confiscated from a factory farm where a worker who was moving her between confinement crates had brutally kicked and beaten her before running an electrified cattle prod over the length of her body as she screamed in pain. The appalling violence inflicted upon Julia was no aberration. Brutality is the norm in an industry that treats mother pigs as breeding machines. Physical abuse merely punctuates the daily misery a sow endures in her cramped gestation crate, a two foot wide metal enclosure that keeps her immobilized throughout her pregnancy, preventing her from turning around or even lying down easily. Standing on hard, slatted floors that hurt her feet, she is uncomfortable every moment of every day every second and granted no relief and no distraction. The only variation in this monotony occurs towards the end of a sow's pregnancy when she is moved to an equally cramped farrowing crate to give birth and to nurse her newborns for a couple of weeks. Once the piglets are removed, the sow is impregnated again and the cycle starts over. She will endure this process without respite until she is considered spent and sent to slaughter. A mere eight hours after Julia arrived at Farm Sanctuary's New York shelter, Julia gave birth to 16 premature piglets. The labor was induced, no doubt, by the trauma of the beating. At first, it was touch and go for these fragile babies, with the shelter's entire staff helping to provide medical care and fluids around the clock. Julia, too, was in a delicate state. Her body was taxed not only by the violence, but by the months she had spent in a gestation crate. But the fear rescuers saw in her eyes when they came for her was already gone. Now, despite the callousness that she had experienced at human hands, Julia sensed right away she was among people who cared. She greeted caregivers calmly and sweetly as they administered treatment to her and her babies. Now she and her piglets are thriving. If their mother had not been rescued, and if they had survived birth and infancy in the harsh conditions of the factory farm, Julia's babies would have grown up in a filthy, crowded warehouse and been slaughtered for pork at just six months old. Instead of senseless misery and death, the members of this family now look forward to lives of joy, simple pleasures, and friendship. Hi, I'm Joan Jett from the Black Hearts. Join me in Farm Sanctuary and ask yourself, what did you do when you found out about animal cruelty?